Hello and welcome from Budapest. You're watching Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Thanks for tuning in. A Hungarian think tank says that in Prime Minister Viktor Orban's State of the Nation speech on Saturday, he was addressing the whole world when he said that despite powerful pressure from the West, Hungary remained on the side of peace and doesn't want to be dragged into the war in Ukraine. That's what analyst Daniel Deja of the 21st Sazed Institute claimed. He added that the PM made it quite clear that it is in Hungary's national interest to maintain its economic ties with Russia. And morally, the government also recognizes Hungarians who live far away from the mother country. That's what the State Secretary for National Policy said in the Australian city of Gold Coast at a meeting of that country's Hungarians. Arpad Janos Potapi held talks with its leaders there and said that the Hungarian diaspora represents an important part of Hungarianness. The Hungarian Minister of Culture and Innovation says that the government will do all it can for Hungarians at home and abroad to preserve their identity, their self-determination and their ability to act. Janos Csák made his comments at the annual Chango Ball, which celebrates the Hungarian Chango minority in Romania. He said that the Chango Ball isn't about the past. He said, quote, whoever doesn't honor what their forefathers achieved has no future and their descendants also won't honor them. He added that it is the duty of Hungarians to hang on to their spiritual heritage. Hungary's Slovenian minority in the west of the country has been celebrating tree stump clearing carnival. According to local custom there, that kind of a festivity is held if there had been no marriage the year before in their villages. The state secretary for churches, minorities and civil affairs said at the event that the government continues to support Hungary's national minorities. Miklos, Miklos Scholtes added that the government will give every opportunity for minorities to preserve their customs and cultures. And the deputy prime minister without portfolio in charge of national policy said that Hungary's message is that it defends and celebrates the legacy of Hungarians. Zsolt Semjén made his remarks at the annual Busho festivities in Mohács, where he also pointed out that since 2009, UNESCO recognizes the event as an intangible cultural heritage. He added that this winter ritual is also a value for all of mankind. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can always watch Hungary Reports live after the Hungarian language news at about 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch us in repeats and online. Please stay tuned if you can. We also have news broadcasts in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and Minden Jod.